Hello everybody, it's Starved here and welcome to the channel for May 20th, 2020. This week's comics include Star Wars Adventures, The Clone Wars, Battle Tales number one. Yeah, that's a mouthful. Before we dive into this one, I just want to clear the air with a couple things here. So first off, Star Wars Weekly, that was what I used to do about just general Star Wars news and most of the time it would include comics for the most part. So I'm just rebranding that series of videos to what you're watching now, which is called this week's comics. Keep it very simple to let you guys know exactly what's going on with the comics. Another thing is this is pretty big. This is our first physical comic release for Star Wars in months since March. Um, so this is a big deal. And not only that is this specific issue is a brand new micro series or mini series of Star Wars comics based around the Clone Wars which we don't really get a lot of. I think the last real big mini series that focused in the Clone Wars was Star Wars Mace Windu and I was a little bit let down and disappointed by that one because there was literally no clone troopers in that. So here we are. This is where we stand. We are getting back to normal with the comics again. Super excited about that because that's one of my favorite parts about Star Wars in general. So let's just dive right into this one. It is part of the Star Wars Adventures line so you can know what to expect. It's going to be very colorful as far as the artwork and the stories are going to be uh, containing lots of humor as well as uh, some good bits of action and we get all of that here in this first issue for Battle Tales number one. So the story is set up really interesting enough. This is set before the Battle of Christophus. So this is before the Clone Wars animated series. And we have, yes, the phase one clone troopers, but we have specifically Commander Wolf, Commander Cody, and Captain Rex. They are holding out on this planet called Hissen, and they are trying to push back the droids, and the super battle droids are coming forward. They're losing hope. And next thing you know, we have Plo Koon, we have Anakin Skywalker, and we have Obi-Wan Kenobi that come to the rescue and fight off these droids, and we get this bit of exposition from them saying that, okay, the Separatists are coming into the planet. We have uh, Count Dooku and Asajj Ventress that are trying to sway these people over to the Separatists. So we have them, we have the Jedi give the clone commanders the, the command to just hold this position. Do not let the Separatists take these, these innocent people. And that is the crux of our story. We then get a flashback because what happens is uh, the clones were like, oh, they better not leave us behind or something. And then that flashes back in the past with Rex and with Hardcase from the Clone Wars series and Anakin. And this whole story that we get in this flashback is on the planet of Bangalore. And it's all about the clones and how Anakin never leaves them behind. He is a different kind of Jedi commander. A lot of the generals of the Clone Wars, they think of the clone troopers as expendable, right? They think of them basically as droids. Like, oh, yeah, they might like look like human, but they're just expendable clones. We don't really care. Well, we see for the first-hand experience that connection between Rex and Anakin really form in this pivotal story moment where we have this Agda Bagda looking creature that takes out one of the clones and is going to kill the other clone Hardcase and Anakin comes to the rescue, saves this clone called Hardcase and then is about to get killed by this Agda Bagda looking thing and then Rex returns the favor and saves Anakin's life and them two work together to take this thing down and that is the crux of this entire story but I thought it was really good for Clone Wars. This is a great start for this miniseries. I feel like it captures the essence of the Clone Wars so darn good again between just the feel of the the colors and, and the and the actual artwork and just the vibe of the humor with the droids is a lot of fun so yeah definitely recommend this one this was supposed to come out on a weekly cadence uh every week throughout april i believe that is not going to happen now i do believe the next comics that we are getting that will be new will be the uh, Bounty Hunters issue number three, which in America, at least, it's not coming out until, I believe, at the end of June. So I probably won't be talking about comics for another month or so, but at least now we can kind of see the end of the tunnel, the light at the end of the tunnel as far as what's going on with the comics. We will have more coming out in July as well. So there's that to look forward to. So what'd you guys think of the Clone Wars Battle Tales issue number one? Let's talk about it in the comment section down below. For those of you that aren't aware, I did put up a 2020 channel update video and that include the changes that are happening to this video series as I stated at the top of the episode, but I also am including 
this brand new video series that I'm super excited about, and it's called Outer Rim Transmission. On that, I bring on guests of the Star Wars community to talk about just various topics in a deep dive sort of format. Uh, it's a little bit longer duration than my videos are used to, almost like a podcast formation uh, type. So definitely check those out. I have the first episode that is out there with Star Wars Legends specifically. I have a great conversation with uh, Matthew Wilson of the Geek Addict. So again, make sure you go over there, check that out. Let me know what you guys think of that content. But that's going to do it for me, Star Raptor. Until next month, thanks for watching and may the force be with you always. Thanks for checking out the video. Please hit that thumbs up symbol. It helps me know that I'm making content that you guys enjoy. And if you enjoyed this video, I also include two videos down below you guys should check out. And please consider subscribing to this channel. It helps support me and it notifies you guys of when I get new videos up on the channel. You can also contact me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram at Star Raptor.